Hello, 73. This is uh, Charlie Tango One Echo in Yezulu. My name is Duart, and I'm going to show you how you can link the Spot uh, satellite tracker device to the APRS network. It's very simple and you just need to follow a few steps. First of all, you need to download an app called APRS Pro. This app is available for iOS only and the minimum requirement is iOS 9.0 and this can either be installed in an iPhone or an iPad. Just go to the App Store and download APRS Pro. Alright, I have now downloaded and installed the APRS Pro software in my iPhone. I'm already receiving some APRS traffic as you can see and now I am ready to configure my spot device. I click on menu and finally my spot here. And then you need to identify the serial number of your spot device. It's uh, easy to find, you just have to open the battery compartment of your spot device and inside you will actually see that you have the ESN number. Next, you have to configure the sharing URL. You just log in to findmespot.com and here you can get your own and unique sharing URL. Once you have it, you have to paste it into this field in the APRS Pro software. Let's have some fun and choose an SSID for our call sign. We can also select a symbol to be displayed across the APRS network. There's a full range of icons to be chosen and uh, for example, let me see, let's just uh, pick up this uh, sailboat for example. Now we can decide whether battery status will be shown in the APRS message and you can also uh, have the option to switch on or off the linkage to the APRS network. And then we just update the server. We need also to specify uh, our iCloud account and uh, we must be logged into our iCloud account if we want to be able to change the status of our spot device. After this, nothing else is needed and you don't need to have any sole coverage and you don't need your iPhone. The whole idea is to have your satellite device being tracked wherever you are, in the desert, in the middle of the sea, you don't actually need any cell coverage. Now it's time to go outdoors and see all the magic. For this demonstration I will just uh, stay indoors to have a better quality video, but uh, it's time to switch on your spot device and uh, don't forget to switch on the tracking option. In this uh, specific model is this button here and as soon as I get the green light everything should be ready. Now that everything is configured we just need to browse to aprs.fi and make sure that we can track our spot device. So let's just search here the call sign that has been programmed CT1EIZ-1 search and here it is. Uh, we can track it down we can find the APRS Pro software ID for spot satellites. We also get the timestamp, the battery status and as I told you this can be switched on or off and also the default message that uh, is also being sent with your tracking device. In case you press the emergency button you will also see the emergency message here displayed in the APRS message. 